Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. This one is going to be a short video, I promise. I know I made a very long video yesterday and this one is basically me talking about the latest finds in Walmart. I went to my local Walmart and I found a brand called Hard Candy. I have heard of that brand before but I have never tried anything of theirs and I wanted to get some stuff and to give it a try. So I am actually wearing these eyeshadows on my eyes. So today's video is basically first impressions. If you want me to make a separate video with swatches about the eyeshadows, we can do that. Um, I tried swatching them real quick on my wrist. If I had to judge them by the swatches, I would most definitely not approve them. So in this instance, swatches might not be the best way to go. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. These are baked eyeshadows and I don't know if this can pick it up, but basically it's very subtle. All of them are shimmers. I'm going to attach the picture of the other styles that you can get. Unfortunately, in, in the Walmart that I went to, I only had the choice to get these. In fact, this was the last palette that I could get my hands on. Really cute. What I instantly liked about this brand is that extremely, extremely cute packaging. It reminds me of Benefit Cosmetics, really cute packaging. So this one is called the Uptown Girl. And what I liked is that apparently the product is scented. So they have a small picture of the peach and they can say, you can scratch it and you can smell it and it smells nice. I don't know what it is, but seems like quite a few brands are coming out with peachy smells. I mean, what did we have last year? We had the uh, Too Faced palette and now the drugstore brands are picking it up. We have the L'Oreal that I did just recently, that review, and we have this one. I'm finding a lot of peachy scents, you know, out there. So I'm basically going to, you know, talk about some of these products and try some of the lipsticks and basically see what, what happens, what I like, what I don't like. Like I said, I really like these eyeshadows on my eyes. These are all shimmery eyeshadows, but they are cute. I actually don't have anything like this. All of the eyeshadows that I have are either pigments or they're packed into the pans. And these are baked eyeshadow spheres, that's what they're called. Over here, I have a highlighter rose gold highlighter and just glow. For some reason, this a lot reminds me of Clay Dupot. I mean, that pattern, like immediately as I saw it, which Clay Dupot is very expensive highlighter and eh, it's so-so. So I'm kind of like, hey, you know, this, you know, oh, I get so much satisfaction and I'm opening these packages. A quick note on where these products are manufactured. Some of them are manufactured in the United States, others in China. For instance, the highlighter, this uh, blush and the eyeshadows are made in People's Republic of China. And these lipsticks right here, little liquid lips, as well as this product that helps you erase your mistakes, which I have never actually tried. I, it would be interesting to know how it works. I'm gonna try it right now on my hand in a moment. This one is made in the USA. I want to try this highlighter and see how it performs. So we have like a moment of three colors going on. I'm going to see, hmm, let me swatch them. So right here I have them on my arm and I, I don't know, I'm not that impressed because the formula is dry and they are powdery. It's like, you know, there is like a lot of powder flying everywhere. I'm used to like a creamier, more moist formulas. But let me just go in into this middle one right here and see what happens. Like if it's going to give me anything on my cheek. And you know what though? I can definitely see a glow. It's a very subtle glow. I am not the biggest fan, I'll be honest with you, because again, this is a very dry formula and it's it's just not, it's not for me. But if that's what you're looking for, you know, and the price is right, because this is drugstore makeup and it is from Walmart and this is nice. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad product. It's just not 
working for me because that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so let me try this product right here. Okay, so a lot of packaging is coming out. Oh, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. So this is totally reminding me of Benefit. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. The brush was just kind of glued to this moment right here. I would recommend taking this off. You don't want to have that piece of glue ending up in your product. So I'm going to kind of like take it off right now. Mm. And it's covered with a clear plastic, so we want to remove that. Yes, it does smell like peach. The only thing I don't understand though, um, I see like different specks of color. I don't know if you can tell. I'm hoping that my lights are not bleaching all of this, but it seems like there's there's like a blue stripe right here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this. Is this part of the product or is it spoiled? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Let's try this on. I don't know, I cannot tell that it's doing anything for me. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this. This isn't working for me. It's cute, I suppose, but it's just not working for me. Let me grab one of my other brushes. Just want to see if there is, like, how dusty this product is. Wow, I cannot tell if anything is on. Okay, I'm going to go in with a finger. Okay, so it smells really nice, but honestly, I am not impressed. It looks amazing, it smells amazing, it has a weird blue line in there, I don't know what that means. It looks like Benefit bronzer type of situation, but it's just, it's kind of like a highlighter. It's, it, it really has this shiny moment, but it's really not a blusher. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. So you guys, I am disappointed with this product. I'm not recommending this one. It's not doing anything for me. Okay, so right now I'm opening one of these lipsticks right here. And I'm gonna try it on. This is a Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick. I can't find the name on it. I'm just gonna put, put this on and see. First, smell check. Okay, the first sign is good. There is no stink. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be doing. It's not doing it for me when I'm swatching it. It's really streaky and it's behaving more like a lip gloss. I'm gonna put it on my lips. This is not behaving like a liquid lipstick. This is behaving like a lip gloss. So it's some sort of a hybrid. I do like the packaging. I really do like this really cute thin wand. I kind of like the doe food applicator. I, I think it's nice. But this is not gonna set, that's for sure. And it swatches, you know, pretty streaky. I don't know what's what's going on with it. But then again, if they're saying it's demi matte, it's not supposed to really be, you know, a matte liquid lipstick. It's not going to behave like one, you know, so it's behaving more like a lip topper or a lip gloss. So I have another color very similar to this one. I'm going to open her up and I will swatch her as well. Underneath that first one, so this is this color right here, it's really beautiful peachy color. I'm not going to apply this one on my lips because I just, I don't know. I, I started this video on such a happy note. What happened? I don't like majority of these products, you guys. I like the eyeshadows. The last thing I haven't tried is this Oopsie Proof Makeup Eraser. I'm gonna open this up and let's see how we test this. Oh, I see. Okay, so it doesn't really have much smell. I think what I will do is I will grab an eyeliner and I will put some of the eyeliner on my wrist and then I'll try to erase it with the product and see if it happens or not. So, <laughs> of course, I picked the Pat McGrath eyeliner. Let's see. So, I will draw a pretty thick line, okay. And I guess maybe let it dry a little bit. 
and then I'll try erasing it. It's not really erasing anything. It's kind of actually making the product go all over the place and making this pan dirty. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. Possibly not because I did not read the instructions. But honestly, I don't know. This is disappointing. I was kind of skeptical about the product when I was buying it, so I guess I'm not that disappointed. So let's cut to the chase and see what, if anything, I liked here. I have already mentioned I like the eyeshadows. The blush, it's cute packaging, but the product didn't do it for me. I would not recommend this product. And maybe if I went for a darker color, because it's not working for me, I, I'm not sure what's that blue stuff doing in it, like blue specks. I'm going to look it up and see if it's part of the product or if it's just a tempered product or something. They're my liquid lipsticks. They're not liquid lipsticks in my book at all. They are lip glosses. Literally, I feel like I have applied lip gloss on my lips and yes as a lip gloss it's okay and of course it would be streaky if you try to apply a swatch on your wrist but I was expecting a bit more so they are not for me the highlighter it's okay it actually works it is very subtle so if you're looking for a subtle highlighter with three highlights in it then it's probably not a bad product, but again, not for me because I'm not looking for a subtle highlighter. And that would be it. I guess um, I didn't really get that many products of hard candy. Um, even though majority of these products didn't work out for me, actually, I'm going to go back and try their other eyeshadows. And I saw some other things on their website that I might order and try them. If you do have any questions or comments about this brand, do let me know and I'll be happy to do some research for you guys. This product is a dud. I don't recommend it. I, of course, might have not used it right, but honestly, I don't know. It, it's just, it doesn't seem like this would work for me. If I make a mistake when I draw an eyeliner, usually I just let it dry and then touch it up with a concealer or maybe take a Q-tip and pick up whatever I can. Basically, the best thing I can say is like, try not to make a mistake. If you're doing a wing, um, and that's what I can say. And just lots of practice. On a quick note, uh, going back to another video, uh, when I bought my L'Oreal products and touched based on that, so the Lash Paradise uh, Mascara by L'Oreal, really good one, you guys. If you haven't tried, um, I highly recommend this one. Then I was also looking to get a cheaper version of this product right here, and this one cost $28, and I wanted to find a cheaper version, so I got this uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. So this is the eyelash primer, L'Oreal Voluminous, and I wanted to see if it would stand up to this one and see if it could kick it, but actually it's the other way around. I do not like this primer. Basically when I'm putting it on my, when my eyelashes, it doesn't coat the eyelashes. It looks like it crumbles, like as if I have globs of white stuff stuck to my eyelashes. When I use Lancome, it actually feels like it's moisturizing my eyelashes. It totally coats the eyelash. And also, after I'm done with my makeup for the day and I remove the makeup, I don't feel like I'm losing eyelashes. Because here's the thing, I know we can all go and apply falsies, but my idea is that <laughs> I lost so many eyebrows that I want to preserve what I got left. So I don't want to lose eyelashes. So if you want to splurge and get a good primer, just get yourself Lancome primer because this one works for eyelashes wonderfully. I wanted L'Oreal to be a dupe for it, but it's not. I'm sorry, you guys. That's just where we are at. So with all of that said, thank you very much for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you all in my next video, guys. I love you. Bye.